everybody, Peeper here, back with another video for you. So we got the full patch notes for 5.2 as it, of course, dropped this morning. So I'm going to be going over the full patch notes. I'm not going to go over every single thing in detail like I did with the last one. Uh, all the things that are basically the same that haven't haven't changed, I'm going to pretty much just skip over. I'll, of course, have a link to my previous video about the preliminary patch notes that has more information in it uh, for those of you who want that. But this is going to be just maybe mainly going over the things that were added in this specific, uh, the full patch notes, like things like job changes, you know, where to get the crafting books, XYZ, stuff like that. A couple things before we get started, I'll be streaming pretty much all day over at twitch.tv slash fever7. If you guys aren't watching the, the world race or anything like that, feel free to pop in and say hello. We'll be having a lot of fun ocean fishing, crafting, uh, doing some MSQ. I'll try and skip most of it to keep it fairly spoiler free for those of you who want to experience it on your own time. Um, and then of course tonight we're going to be going into the normal raids. So that would be exciting. Also, if you hear any construction noises in the background, I am sorry. I'm trying to get this video out as fast as possible. Um, so I can start live streaming and things, but I won't be able to get out all of the noises, I assume. So if you hear some, please just ignore them. And without that, let's get started. Okay, playable content. So this should all be pretty much the same. Just telling you the new story quest. And those, of course, are all going to be question marks. Ruby Doomsday. Yada, yada, yada. Your Hard Dark Apocalypse. Yep, all the stuff we've been added. New Fisher quest and Limsa. New Beast Tribe. Most of this stuff is the same. To do fates, those are the same. New items are added. Treasure hunt stuff is the same. Grant companies. Housing. Oh, this might be different. Like private house, private estates and housing, or is 19 through 21 added in patch 5.1 are now available for purchase. Okay, cool. That's new. New furnishings. Those were all covered last time. All raw mannequins. New orchestral rolls. Fish. Do 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 do. -do. The new jumping puzzle, new cards. Is this a new bunny? Oh, this is the new prize for the MGP. I don't think that was in here last time. Oh, that's cute. Too bad I'm never going to do that. Okay, battle system. Here we go. Warrior. This is it. That's all they did. That's all they did. <sighs> okay. All right. I, you know, I got my expectations up a little too high. I get... <sighs> I was really hoping that they were going to just take Raw Intuition and Nascent Flash and not have them be on the same cooldown. I mean, a buff to shake it off is nice, but like, I don't really think it was necessary. Anyways, Black Mage, Foul, Potency Reduction. After the first enemy hit is now fixed at 25%. Okay, I think that's a buff from what it currently is. I'm not sure. I don't play Black Mage too much. Summoner, oh boy, here we go. Bio 3, damage potency has been reduced from 50 to 45. Miasma 3, potency has been reduced from 50 to 45, and the damage over time. So, decent nerfs there. Yeah, definitely going to lose some DPS. Not horrible, but definitely going to lose some DPS there. And then Red Mage, Flesh, Pliche, I don't know how to say any of these names. Uh, potency is increased from 420 to 440. After 6 day, potency is now 400 from 380. And is no longer reduced after the first enemy. That's actually pretty big. And then enhanced jolt. Ooh, my 14's done updating. Uh, increase the Ver Thunder and Ver Arrow potency has been changed from 350. Well, oh, the increase to those respectively, excuse me, has been increased from 350 to 370. I would say those are pretty, uh, pretty welcome, pretty good changes for Red Mage. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. And then White Mage of Fleetest Misery. Potency reduction after the first enemies is now fixed at 25%. Cool. Okay, so pretty minimal job changes there. Pretty annoyed about the warrior one, but I'll take it, I guess. And then the meditation gauge, new dungeon. I still don't know what that one is. Yada, yada, yada. New trial. Unlock through the story. Completing it, then you unlock the... Whatever, new raid. The players must complete away with the fairy. Unlock the raid. Okay. And then Savage, telling you the rewards for Savage. Echo stuff is the same. Uh, all the Alexander changes were the same. New tombstones, yada yada. And then the next big thing that's changing really is the is just telling us where the crafting books are. Cool. So a quick edit here. 
Um, I was going to just go through and do all the PvP actions in this video, but there's actually a lot of them. So I'm going to, I recorded that. I'm going to make that its own separate video. So those of you who want that can watch that. And then I'll just skip through all of this. Uh, TLDR, some changes to the role actions. Nothing too major there. Paladin got buffed. Warrior's looking real strong. Dark Knight probably got nerfed. Maybe the same. Gunbreaker got his healing shifted around. Monk nerfs, Dragoon buffs. Ninja kind of got buffed for some reason. Samurai got buffed. Bard and Machinist got buffed, and Dancer got brought down in line with them. Uh, Black Mage just got some more nukiness. Summoner is basically the same. Red Mage got a CC back on a couple abilities. Um, Scholar, I guess, got buffed, and then so did White Mage and Astro. So that's pretty much it. TLDR. Uh, and then, of course, Season 14 of the Feast will end. Preseason will begin. And now new items have been added. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, new master recipes have been added, of course. I'm surprised it doesn't tell us where to get those, although I'm assuming it's just Yolmar. Decent stuff is the same. Oh, right. These are the changes to the crafting actions. The new crafting thing. This is all pretty much the same. I think for the most part, the rest of this is all the same information. The Fisher changes that we went over already. Okay, I guess there's some new items. The following items are now available from the Splendors vendor in Ildshire using blue scripter, crafter scripts. Um, just some like just some high quality food. Uh, the new fishing icons. New nodes and fishing have been added. Ocean fishing. I'm so excited to try that today. The new mounts. New achievements, adding achievements to the tank thing, standard stuff there, markers. Cool. So that's pretty much it. You know, full patch notes don't really have much more in terms of changes than normal ones. Uh, known issues. An issue where in the magic DPS role, best NPCs in the Crystarium appear regardless of your progress. An issue where the action cast cannot be used. The following fishing spots. Uh, a couple Central Thanalin, Cerulean Field. Oh, I gotta try the diadem thing. Now those two they're trying to fix in 5.21, so those should be fixed in a couple weeks. Issue in the Cinder Drift where in certain enemy attacks not displayed correctly in the battle log. A couple Eden's Verse things not displaying. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much it. Pretty quick video. Um, not a whole lot has changed from these patch notes to the preliminary. So that's gonna be wrap for this video. If you guys made it to the end and you enjoyed it, please feel free to drop me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. it really help me out. I will be streaming over at twitch.tv slash peeper7 for the most of the day with Final Fantasy content. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.